Fat Guy Flies RC here. Well, I got another one here that I'm going to do, do the maiden on. This is the PA20 Pacer by E Flight. This is another balsa and pine plane um, ARF. And I put the uh, recommended. Um, hold on. All right. Got the recommended uh, equipment in it, the spinner, the aluminum spinner, the I think it's a power power 10 uh, motor they recommend for it, and the uh, I think it's 12 by 6 prop. And uh, I've got a Lemon RX uh, stability receiver with a satellite uh, that's hanging off to one side inside. And uh, got our just a good looking plane. I really messed up putting the skirts on or the little wheel pants that go over the wheels and uh, I stripped out the connectors that hold those in place so I'm not going to be able to I mean I really messed them up and stripped out the grub screws and everything and, and the gear everything so the only way I could ever uh, put new ones on there is the wheel pants are fine but I'd have to get all new connectors and they're special made that that bolt inside those wheel pants and uh, you have to buy the whole hardware kit in order to get just those two little pieces and hold on folks hold on maybe it's just me but it just seemed like it wasn't Right, left, up, down. Let me go all the way back down there again and do another range test because, whoa, <laughs> ah, just, uh, seemed like there for a second. I didn't know this elevator working and I thought I was using, let me find my pre, okay, there's my square. Let's get right in front of that square there and we'll go down to range test and, uh, do another range test here. Yep. All right. Maybe it was just me. All right. Well, anyways, let's get her back here. Let's uh, do another control service test. All right, right aileron, left aileron. Up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. And we got flaps. All right, well, here we go. And by the way, I got her set up for a forest cell and uh, got a uh, Avian 60 amp speed controller in there, the smart one, but I don't have a smart receiver. I need to purchase one of those. All right. Well, without further ado, let's do. Well, I had no elevator control. And you saw me do the range test. I lost all elevator control. She went down. Let me pause while I walk over there. Folks, walking up, we've got carnage. We've got a wrecked plane, a bad wrecked plane. Oh boy, do we ever. But I had no elevator control. Now I've got elevator control and I did my range test. Oh boy, let's see. Ah, we've got a crunch cow. Landing gear got ripped off, which is no surprise because the angle she went in. Let me get that battery unhooked. 
real quick. Oh, yeah. All right. There my battery's okay. Yeah, we got a wreck here. All right. Well, let's see. Struts, broken prop. Yeah, we got mess here. We got yeah, she hit here. You can see the prop in the ground. I need a bag for trash. Yeah, and I got pieces all the way there. Well, folks, this is called modeling. When I first noticed that elevator wasn't working, it kind of like, well, maybe it's just my imagination. Because, so I did another range test, and it was fine. But... Oh, and I busted the wing joint. Yeah, that's going to take an awful lot to get her going again. I may just salvage her for parts. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for watching. But, uh, yeah, this might be... Yeah, the fuse is gone. Fuses. Well, no, that's all crunched. Yeah, motor mount. Yeah. Okay, folks. Y'all have a good one. That's part of modeling. That's just the way it is. And hey, you live and you learn. Bye-bye. All right, just to give you a little, little show of the damage. May not look that bad, but motor mount, all that inside balsa that holds the motor in there, that's all busted. Fire windshield's busted. This wing's good. Elevator is good. Uh, carbon fiber, carbon fiber spar that went through is busted. Um, turning her over, the inside of the cow. This is all crunched. Obviously, the landing gear has been ripped off. Uh, yeah, it might be a total loss. But I've got all the parts from. I'm sure the motor, hopefully the motor, which is a brand new motor, that feels nice and solid. Well, folks, I'm afraid this is going to be salvaging it for an ESC uh, uh, parts uh, motor. Maybe the, uh, uh, the servos, they're metal geared servos, but I do not trust that Lemon RX receiver now. Because I lost all elevator control. And I've got a good, strong elevator connection there. So it's the receiver, I'm pretty sure. All right, folks. Y'all have a good one. This is just part of modeling. This is what happens. You learn from it. You put in quality parts in a quality plane. Don't put in a cheap receiver. That's my fault. All right, folks, this particular re Lemon RX receiver is a bad one. Now, I've got several Lemon RX receivers that I've used for years, and they run great. So don't think this is a, a dig on Lemon RX. Um, I think it's just a dig on this particular receiver. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. And please subscribe if they help me pay for this plane. <laughs> Bye.